You have written several articles. Done the proper on-page search engine optimization, such as interlinking of articles, using the main keywords and related keywords in your H1 to H4 tags. You have also written a good meta description. Your article has been indexed on Google Search Console. But you are not ranking. Your competitor has dominated your niche and is ranking above you for every keywords in your niche. But wait, your on-page search engine optimization looks better than your competitors, so why are you not ranking better than them? You need external links referring to that article, your competitors are ranking better because they have more external links, referring back to their page. Now the big question is, how do you get backlinks that your competitors have? How do you copy your competitors' link building strategies and rank better? Welcome to Tribe Web Tech, and in this tutorial, I will show you how to steal your competitors' backlinks and rank better. First, search for the keywords that you want to rank for and see who is ranking high for it. These are your competitors and they are getting all the organic traffics that you are aiming for. To stat a chance of competing with them for that keyword, you need to copy their referring domains to that page and build backlinks back to your website. For this tutorial, I will be spying on whoever is ranking high for the keywords, iPhone 11 Pro Max. To copy your competitors' backlinks, first you have to visit their website and copy their link. Watch closely as I do that. After copying the URL of that page, head over to Moz and create a free trial account. This account is for 30 days after which you will be asked to pay. Nevertheless, you can create unlimited free trials and I will be teaching you how to do that in my future video. Click on link research and paste the URL that you copied from your competitor's website. Click on Analyze and give it some seconds to load some data about that domain. The domain authority for the website that is ranking as number one on Google for the keywords, iPhone 11 Pro Max, has a domain authority of 92, a page authority of 57, 351 linking domains, and over 3000 inbound links. Pretty impressive, you have to match up to them if you want to get some of that organic traffic from that keywords. Click on Inbound Links and it will display a long list of domains linking back to that web page. Click on link type and select follow, this will filter the list and load only do follow links, do follow backlinks are better than no follow, so I will advise that you copy only the do follow backlinks from your competitors. Click on the one link per domain checkbox, this will reduce the list by removing domains that are more than one. So you will only see one domain per website that is linking back to that page. Watch out for spam score, you cannot filter that here, but you can avoid linking to them when you are manually building the backlinks. Finally, click on export, choose the number of rows to export, this depends on how long the list is, for this video I will choose 1000, and then click on export again. Give it some seconds and the download will start.
This is how to copy your competitor's backlinks. But wait, I will show you how to filter it, so it becomes easier when building links back to your website. Once the download is completed, locate where the file is saved on your computer. Go to Google Documents, the link is in the pinned comment of this video. Alternatively, you can use Microsoft Spreadsheet if you have it installed in your computer, but I will recommend using Google Spreadsheet because it is lighter, and you don't have to run multiple programs when building your backlinks, everything can be done directly from your browser. Open the Spreadsheet section and create a new spreadsheet. Now, click on import, click on the upload button, and go to where the file was downloaded and imported into the spreadsheet. Use the settings as shown in the video. It is usually the default settings, but you can't be so sure, make sure you always cross-check. After that, give it some time to process the file, and it will be displayed. Now these are the backlinks of your competitor, and you can carefully go through them to find the ones that were built manually. Also make sure that you are careful when building backlinks from websites with low domain authority and high spam score. You can also delete unimportant data such as link type, link state, date last seen, date lost, and HTTPS status. This will make it easier to navigate through the spreadsheet without getting confused.
the most important data are domain authority, spam score, anchor text used, and the URL of the referring domain. Everything else can be deleted. So this is how you get the backlink data of a certain page in your competitor website. Keep on watching and I will show you how to get the entire backlink data of your competitor. Yes you heard me right, the entire backlink of the whole domain. I will be using another website for this tutorial. So first you have to already know the URL of your competitors, if you don't know who your competitors are, you can use Alexa to find out for free. So, go to your competitors website and copy the URL of their homepage. Head back to Moz Analytics and paste the link as shown in this video, click on Analyze to load the backlink data just as we did earlier. Filter the list and get only the do follow links, and also remove multiple links from a single domain. Export the data and upload the file to Google Docs. Remove unwanted columns to get a clearer data. I will speed up some part of the video because I have already shown you how to do them. Now you have the backlinks of your competitor. Inspect the links, look for those links that were built manually. Copy the URL and paste it in another browser. Create something similar and use Google Anchor Texts. So this is how to steal your competitors' backlinks and build them to your website. When building backlinks, do you think that the spam score and domain authority of the backlink matters? Let me know in the comments section. If this video get 300 likes and 50 shares, I will make a tutorial on how to get Moz Analytics Pro Lifetime account for free. Please don't forget to like the video if you find it helpful, and if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly do that right now, so that you will not miss out when I post new awesome videos. Thanks for watching and keep building those links.